Cornish College of the Arts has been graduating accomplished dancers since its founding in 1914. Well, here is a behind the scenes peek at an upcoming student performance led by two excellent Cornish choreographers, Tanya Lockyer and Heather Kravis. We are in the Ninth Avenue Gallery of Cornish College for the Arts, where we're gonna be doing something a little different this year. Instead of doing a performance on a proscenium stage, we're inviting the audience into a gallery situation to look at dance in some new ways. Cornish Dance Theater is really an opportunity for Cornish students to get to practice performance. And I can't think of a kind of more rigorous, challenging opportunity to explore performance than being in an intimate setting when your audience might just be like a few inches from you. They can actually take in each dancer. They can take in their movement. They can look closely. They can linger as long as they want. So we get to play with time really differently. We get to play with space really differently. We get to play with our relationship with the audience really differently. We're not gonna pretend that the audience isn't there. If we're about to move and barrel into an audience member, we're gonna look at them one human being to another and just have an interaction. Doesn't the exaggerated look kind of great? So everyone in this piece are Cornish dance students. Some of them are first year, some of them are in their senior year. So they're at really different parts of their journey. Part of what I just find so beautiful working with dancers is each person is their own life force. They have their own history. There are different things that make them just beautiful or captivating. Good, awesome. They have solos that they do against the wall that they've each really made and, and choreographed and I've helped them shape it. Other sections are improvised in real time and there's other things that are super set. So there are many different approaches, but absolutely, these young dance makers are a significant part of creating it. And the audience is gonna be a significant part of what unfolds. Again, remember how we said everyone loves canon? We're doing canon. And now you'll come over here. Tanya Lockyer is running first, so there's a little bit of like a kind of pause, but there's a pause with dancing still happening in it where we can think of it as like a crossfade, like my performance kind of comes in towards the very end of hers. And I believe that the audience will be more instructed, like, will you please sit over in this area and watch from here? So a little less free range and a little more bossy. I think that looks great. For me, it's been an education to work with these students. They're teaching me every day and they're teaching me about what this particular dance wants to be. A lot of the material is very orchestrated with steps that I'm creating and they are doing beautifully. And the other part, I'm giving them more scenarios and they are filling out those scenarios with their own bodies and their own ideas. But in both cases, it is a collaboration. And I'm really excited to see what they're able to do with the material with a public. Yeah, there you go. Cornish Dance Theater, an exploration of movement and energy plays at the Cornish 9th Avenue Gallery, November 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. For more information, including how to get tickets, go to cornish.edu. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.